So from the readings, you will now should know that there are a major two types of demand forecasting techniques. The first one is judgmental, qualitative, and the second one is quantitative, basically all the calculation dealing with numbers. So which, which demand forecast do you think is best? Is actually, you cannot say which one is the best. Um, demand forecasting should, should be the combination of both. Now, which technique in each one, that's something that you probably have um, read before. There are several ways to actually make judgment when it comes to demand forecast, and each particular techniques are appropriate for some types of forecast. When I said some type, I'm talking about short term, long term. There are more accuracy in one than the other when you think about short term or long term. At the same time, we moved into the quantitative realm where you actually use the data in numbers um, to actually forecast your demand. Now, why the two needs to be used together? I mean, both numbers and the judgmental. Very simple, because you cannot expect the past or you cannot expect the numbers to repeat itself. You actually need to use your own judgment to adjust those numbers as well. So, that is the most important thing about demand forecast. You cannot rely on just one particular type. You need to use the combination of techniques to get the most accurate demand forecast. In our next session, I'm going to talk about the component of demand and also several ways that we can actually use quantitative method when it comes to demand forecasting. Thank you.